Hi, Amy with Fashion Toppings and AJ's Vintage Designs here. I had a request as to how to lengthen jeans. Well, I just so happen to have a pair of jeans that I don't like how short they are, and I kind of want to make them look a little bit more fun, a little different. So I'm going to do that to this pair of jeans. Let me show you the jeans. And you can see these jeans, I spent some time painting on them, so they're already a little bit different, um, but I absolutely love them. The only thing I don't like is they're a little tight on my calf, and they're a little too short. They stop in like an awkward spot between, you know, right, right above my ankles, but they're a little bit too short for me. So I'm going to cut them off and I'm going to add another pair of jeans to the bottom. It's simple, it's easy. I found another pair of jeans that I just couldn't quite fit into anymore. And the denim doesn't even match, but that is what's gonna make them a little bit more fun and a little bit more special. So I'm gonna be cutting the bottom of another pair of pants and adding it to these. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, now I marked it on my leg where I want my new denim to be. And I, this is a pair of jeans that don't fit me anymore. Beautiful denim. I'm gonna cut off the legs and I'm gonna use that to lengthen my other jeans. Now, I'm, there's no rhyme or reason as to where I'm cutting them. You just need to make sure you're cutting high enough up on the leg of the jeans so you have enough denim to work with. Now I have two extra legs that I can use to be adding onto my jeans. I'm so excited, this is gonna be so much fun. Okay, let's get to making our plan. Now I'm gonna take my jeans. Now this is just a rough fitting because I'm gonna be turning my pants inside out here in a minute. You need to make sure that your seams match up. This is your thick seam that goes inside your leg and then your outer seam, you try to have them make them look alike. The outer seam, I know it's blue on blue, it's hard to see but the outside seam is usually much less visible. Your inside seam is the thick one, usually you can see the thread. Okay, so I'm gonna slide it on. I do want a little cuff at the bottom. So I'm gonna slide it on. This is just to get a rough fit, to make sure the denim's gonna fit on my leg. Okay, I got the ankle right about where I want it. So I'm gonna roll it down so that I'm right at my pin. See my little pin here? I've got a little pin here. So I just rolled it right to that pin, just for a rough fitting. Okay, I can do that to the other side. I know it looks kind of funky right now, but I'll tip this one on. Make sure I'm facing it in the right direction with the seams. I want my stitches on the inside. Okay. So that should be roughly about the same size. Okay, so now I need to put my pants on inside out for the next step. Okay, so I have my pin right here. You can see it through my jeans. So I got my pin right there. Now you can decide if your new denim's gonna go straight across, so the whole bottom is just straight across, or if you're gonna do like a fun, different pattern where maybe you cut it diagonal and you go diagonal around it. I mean, you can decide. The easiest is to go straight across. Um, that's, it's easier to have both legs look exactly the same. So I'm just gonna go straight across. I'm just making sure I have my pencil line here, my chalk line that shows where my pin's at. Now I'm gonna be doing a half inch seam allowance. So I'm gonna to wanna to go down just about a half inch and I'm gonna guesstimate and I'm gonna draw another line. You can use a tape measure if you want, but I am just eyeballing it and I'll just make, these, make sure the other side matches. So I have two lines, I don't know if you can see that very well, one is gonna be my, my cut line, because I'm gonna remove the whole bottom of these pants, and the other line is where everything's gonna be stitched together. So I have a half inch seam allowance in between. So there's two lines. I'm gonna be cutting on the bottom line. Now I'm going to measure down from my top chalk line down to where I want my pants to go, and then I'll add in how much I want for a cuff. So I'm measuring down, and I want it to go roughly to about right there. Okay, so I kept the cuff, and as you can see, I pinned it into place so I know exactly how big I want my cuff to be, and then I turn it inside out. Okay, so now it's time to cut the bottom half of our jeans, and so I'm gonna go ahead and uncuff the top of these. I only really need to do is measure measure one, and um, I'll measure from the same. Measure one, and then I'll cut them both the same. 
Okay, so I make a little mark. Okay, I'll go over here and make another one. I'm gonna be wearing, I'm gonna be wearing a cuff at the bottom, so I'm not too worried about it being exact. Okay, so now I'm gonna draw a line between the two with my ruler. So that is where my sew line is going to be. So I am going to cut a half inch above that because I needed that 31 centimeters from here down to where the cuff fold is. The cuff is on the inside. I needed 31 inches. So I just need to add a half inch up here so that I'm not cutting right where I'll be stitching. So I will cut a half inch above it. Okay, half inch. Usually I just eyeball it half inch because half inch just looks natural for a seam allowance. Okay. And that's where I'm going to cut it. Make sure it's laying flat. Nice and flat. I'm just going to cut it. Now you can be much more precise with this if you want it to be, you know, exact. Measure everything iron everything and then you can be more exact. I'm not worried about it because I'm having fun and I like this um, kind of a funky look. And since I have the cuff at the bottom, I do have some leeway if I make a mistake. Okay, now I'm going to set this on top of the other one and cut that one as well. Okay, right there. So they'll both be the exact same size. Okay, now it's time to attach our leg to our pair of jeans. Now, I have my jeans facing, this is my front, the zipper's on the front. And there's a reason for that. I don't know if you can see this, but here's the front of these jeans. The front of your jeans from seam to seam is shorter than the back of your jeans from seam to seam because of the size of your calf. So you wanna make sure that you're looking at the front of your jeans. And I can tell because the seam is closer together on the front than, look at, you can't even see the seams on the back because the back has more material. So you wanna make sure that you're matching up the front of your jeans with the front of your jeans. Gotta make sure I got the right sides, right sides. Okay. I like to slide my pant leg inside here. So we're looking at the inside of our, our, our jeans. This one's inside right. And that is because you want like fabric touching like fabric. Because we're gonna be turning it back inside out, otherwise your jeans would then turn around and have the bottom half of your pants would look like they're inside out. So you gotta have like sides matching like sides. Okay, and you're making sure that the front of your jeans is being sewed to the, or is being pinned to the front of your excess fabric. Now I do need to point out too, these are the same fit jeans. That's why I'm able to do this a little bit easier without cutting a lot of fabric. These jeans are similar fit jeans. I like to stick pretty close to the same brand. And so just different sizes as I grow and shrink, gain and lose weight. Um, so it's easier that I'm working with the same brand. So now, see how I've got that inside there? Now I'm gonna pin all the way around. The first thing you wanna do though, is you wanna pin at your side seam here, because you wanna make sure you're matching up the inside, the side seam of the fabric you're adding and the side seam of your fabric, you, of your jeans. So I'm gonna pin the side seams together first so they match, okay? That will keep me working straight. If you don't have those seams matched up and when you're sewing and you're done, your pants are gonna look twisted or crooked. So I've got it sewed, I've got it pinned on both sides. Now I'm gonna go around the circle and just pin the two pieces of fabric together. And then we'll take it to the sewing machine. So let me go ahead and go right along here and pin it together. So now I'm just sliding my pants on to my sewing machine arm here. 
There we go. And I'm gonna start at a side seam, at my little side seam here, so that it can hide my forwards and back stitch. And I'm just gonna do a straight stitch is all I'm gonna be doing. Set my foot down. I always like to have my needle in a down position. And I'm gonna do a fixed stitch, or you can do a back stitch, whatever your system does. I'm gonna do a fixed stitch. And then go all the way around my half inch seam allowance. Removing the pins as I go. Okay, I'm back where I started. So now do a back stitch or a fixed stitch. There we go. And that is all there is to it. Okay, so I finished them. There you go. You can hardly tell. There is a little bit of a line there. I'm going to iron that as well to kind of flatten that out. But uh, it still adds to the character as, you know, they're fun, they're funky. So let me try them on and show you how they look. See my full length pants now? I got my cuff the way I like it. I love having the big cuffs and I also have, if I want to shorten them again, I can. I have that excess fabric in there. But I like having the cuff. And, straighten that out a little bit. I just need to iron my seam a little bit so I can flatten it out. But if not, that, I think that looks pretty cool. Okay, well there we have it, my new jeans, I love them. I lengthened my jeans, they were too short, now I have a cuff, quick and easy. Now, make sure you're hitting the subscribe button down below and the little bell next, uh, next to it, that way you're notified every time that I put up a new video. And also, just a disclaimer, it's pretty obvious, I'm not a trained sewer, it's very obvious I'm not a trained sewer. I'm self-taught, so when I do these little projects, whenever I decide I have to figure out a way to do something when it comes to sewing, I figure it out. And it might not be the conventional way of doing it, but it's just, I figured I'd share with you how I figured out how to do what I do. And if you do it a different way, then feel free to share that in the comments down below. But like I said, don't judge me, I'm not a seamstress. Like I said, I am self-taught. I learned just by practicing and playing. And so today I was practicing and playing because I wanted to lengthen my jeans. And that is the idea that I came up with. Okay, well this is Amy with AJ's Vintage Designs and Fashion Toppings. Until next time, I hope you have a great day.